and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Bugler. Uh, been too long since we played this deck. You may remember the last time we played this, we went 5-0 and a lot of really exciting games. We were behind against like the Gruel decks and you know just kind of barely getting back into the game using wow growth walker to gain a lot of life and it was a lot of a lot of fun to play it was really exciting games and so let's let's see how it does again we're going to go ahead and retry our deck i'm not changing up too much i'm going to change up just just a little bit in the sideboard i think even just one card um we had a tristani over here that was able to to be able to be grabbed off of bugler but i wanted an extra command the dread horde against esper control Basically, I just wanted a third one of those in here. So we got one one of those. But yeah, of course, we have our Explore package with Branch Walker, Wild Growth Walker, Jade Light. That's a huge part of our deck. Um, and then to help find all of the, the different pieces of the Explore package, we got Militia Bugler. And that's really what our deck's built around. That's what we're calling the Abzan Bugler. Um, if you don't know this card too well, uh, basically, whenever it enters, look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a creature with power two or less, and put it into your hand. So the real reason I wanted to do that is because Militia Bugler can get the new Throne of Eldraine standout, Murderous Rider. So now Militia Bugler can go grab your, um, you know, your hero's downfall, your card that can destroy creatures or planeswalkers. Uh, I thought that was just that was just a pretty neat interaction. How you can go search for that, but then of course Bugler can grab Jade Light Ranger or Wild Growth Walker, and these other things. We can get Charming Prince to be able to flicker any of these cards. Um, we can get Ravenous Chupacabra to be able to be another way to destroy creatures. And of course, Charming Prince also works awesome with Ravenous Chupacabra. So this whole deck just works really well together. Uh, the only card that we have in here that we can't get is Midnight Reaper, but that's just a really strong card advantage card. Um, uh, Fauna Shaman is pretty awesome. We we were able to, last, last game, like we had a hand of like three Branch Walkers and a Fauna Shaman. And then we had the Fauna Shaman ditch a, a Branch Walker and go grab a Wild Growth Walker and and go from there. But yeah, Fauna Shaman can turn any of our, you know, any creature that we have, we can discard it and turn it into another creature. So like if Bugler doesn't get us the creature that we want, we can discard it and go grab the one that we need. Like if we need Murderous Rider, if we need like Jade Light to go with a Wild Growth Walker, maybe we need a Wild Growth Walker, maybe we need a Chupacabra, you know, like whatever you need, Fauna Shaman has your back. We have Soren that brings everything back, gives us a lot of life lifelink uh with our creatures also so we can get a lot of life gain in here and then our top end command the dread horde bring everything back bola citadel cast everything from the top so we have some awesome top end cards as well just a pretty cool deck pretty cool deck so this is going to be in historic so yeah this this is a historic deck and let's go let's go play some historic let's try to rank up here our last deck for our rank up sunday stream Here we go. Good. We got land drops. I may just start with Fauna Shaman. I think I probably do. Yes. Yep. It does, Mozart. Yeah. W widespread. Yeah. If you if you have a large Dreadhorde invade, a large army. Have Dreadhorde Invasion attack. Uh, you get the life lifelink, and if it survives, then you cast Widespread Brutality. It has lifelink, and it does damage to every creature. So there's a bunch of creatures in play. You can gain a lot of life. That's pretty awesome. Oh, thanks, Cube. Thank you. <clears throat> So sideboard, we have a Plague Mare. We can't get Plague Mare right now, but I'm just saying, sideboard, we have a Plague Mare that would be awesome for this kind of matchup. Okay, so I need to hit a land drop next turn because I want to go like Chupacabra and then like the Charming Princes. So I could, I could discard the Wild Growth Walker and could just go grab like a Merfolk Branch Walker. And then play Branch Walker. <clears throat> and Branch Walker has a better chance of me hitting a land drop. Or I could just simply just 
bugler. I'm going to just bugler. And just hope that we draw the land naturally. And if not, then we can resort to those... Aspects next turn. Bugler whiffed. Well, there's only one land in there. So it gives us a better chance of drawing a land, putting three spells and a land down to the bottom. <laughs> but we saw our one Midnight Reaper. The one creature Bugler doesn't grab in the deck. And it was there. I need I need to draw land here. <laughs> I need to draw land. We have to kill this. Come on, land. Any land in our deck will do. We either have shock lands or buddy lands or basic. Like there's no there's no coming to play tap land. So any land will do. Yay. I'd like to draw another land, I think. Because then I, let's see, I ditch Wild Growth Walker, go grab another Charming Prince. Oh no. Hmm. They can only gain four life this turn, so they can't trigger Resplendent Angel. I guess we're going to lose the Fauna Shaman. Because that is 10, 10 damage. That is quite a bit of damage. Resplendent Angel is each end step, yeah. That is true. So if I... If I play the Wild Growth Walker, and then they get to trigger the Angel. So I guess I cannot play the Wild Growth Walker here. Kill that thing too. Now they would gain six. Oh, well, I guess because it's at the beginning of the end step. Yeah, so I guess I guess you're right. So I guess it would not trigger, would it? Okay, so I could have played the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, no, I could have played the Wild Growth Walker because Resplendent Angel just checks at the beginning of the end step, and th this would enter after the beginning of the end step. So a Jade Light Ranger, or a Chupacabra, or a Charming Prince, or a Murderous Rider. Alright, so no harm, no foul. I wasn't going to use that two mana anyway. 
Inglewood Jax. Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. That's sub number 22 on the day. I think they're killing the Bugler and not the Chupacabra. Cool. That's good for Charming Prince. 55 to 5. Pretty close game. But of course, for us, it's just going to be about out grinding them. I, I don't think I can shock to play the Citadel because you know like shocking just puts us down to three and I don't I don't think there's really any anything good about us being at three. Ooh, speaking of going down to three. Uh, I can't play the J Light. I wish I could. Next turn though. I guess I could. Oh man, I wish I didn't play that Sun Petal Grove now. Now I wish I didn't play that Sun Petal Grove. And here we go. Let's save Murderous Rider for some super big scary threat that's going to kill me. The old 62 to 11. <laughs> What's the best card in Historic and why is it Hushbringer? That's Takali Honor Guard. Get that third toughness. So it doesn't die to shock. So it's good to play these things first so that before the Jade Light Ranger, so that um, so we get more value from the Explorers. I don't think we need to activate Bola Citadel. I'll make them lose 10 life. I don't think that's going to be worth it. Yeah, thankfully I haven't had to play around, you know, shock or anything like that. Boo.
<laughs> Me too, Matthew. <laughs> yeah, we could throw away... We could throw away our whole board for a quarter of their life. That was a good game. All right, Plague Mare. Jupe. Probably want these Legion's Ends. All right, as far as what we don't want. Maybe we don't need Midnight Reaper. I don't know. Midnight Reaper seems just fine. Could take out... Or, I don't know. All of our cards are good. All of our cards are good. <laughs> what do we do when all of our cards are good? I'll take out one command, one Soren. Maybe we just don't play Legion's Ends because the rest of the deck's great. Nah, we're probably supposed to play Legion's Ends. Hmm. We'll cut one Branch Walker. And a Charming Prince. You don't think Soren's that good? I don't know. It brings back a Jade Light we just chumped with. And stays around. Bring back that Plague Mare. We're the Noxious Grasp. and yeah, we don't need him. We can't grab Noxious Grasp with <clears throat> Militia Bugler. This could be a hand that we lose. Soren, Soren doesn't target creatures. Come on, Plague Mare. Let's get this Plague Mare. No Plague Mare. Alright, when I kept the five lander, I was kind of assuming we would draw spells. Not three more lands. But, we'll see. Maybe, maybe we draw spells. We just put two lands down to the bottom, also. So that's good. So we know, that we know where ten lands are. My opponent does, doesn't seem to have that great of a hand. Never mind. <laughs> Got to keep that life total down. Can't let him get to 30. We're four for four, drawing lands after keeping our five lander, though. Wow. Well, that hurts. I was all looking forward to chump blocking with that and then bringing it back with Soren. Now we're just going to have to draw a Jade Light Ranger. So they gain six, go to twenty-eight. Hmm. Chupacabra wouldn't be bad either. I mean, it's, that's those are the cards we want to find: Chupacabra and Jade Light.
Seriously? Why'd you just tap me out of white mana? <clears throat> now we kind of need Chube, because this Sarah Ascendant is about to kill us. It's unfortunate putting a Jade Light down to the bottom. But, I mean, Sarah said it's a 6-6. Six, six, it's a, I mean, a 7-7. Seven, seven, seven. It's a 7-7 seven, seven flyer next turn. You know, like, I can't I can't survive from a 7-7 seven, seven flying lifelink creature. Oh my gosh. They're not just people playing God's Willing. Okay, good. So we've drawn one Militia Bugler and five lands. You know, this is turn six. Those have been our six draws. <laughs> After I kept five lands. It's not like I kept like a, a one lander or a two lander, and so we had a lot more lands left in the deck to draw. <laughs> Time to round up every two, round up two of every animal. The flood is here. Yeah, we're gonna need some boats for the for this flood. Murder Strider keeps going back into the deck so we can keep on fighting again with Bugler. It's good deck building. <laughs> yeah, you know the rules. Less than two means you draw none. More than four means you draw only lands. Choop. 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 A loop. Dogs eating them birdos. We don't really have bad spells to draw. Basically, if we draw any spell that's not a land, it's going to be good. <laughs> that's a pretty good storm. Going wide. Jade Light. Soren. Soren's kind of boring. <laughs> this game, Soren's great. It's just fun to say that. Soren's boring. But I will finish it. Get him, Bugler. Get him. That's right. 32. Count it down. Count it down. So do they want to make lifelink vampires? I my or humans? <laughs> 31. We're almost there. Gonna, it's gonna increase the clock a little bit. All right. 
back to 34 again. Hey, another land. Out to forty. Lorda, Lorda, their life totals forty. Just throwing away three creatures to do two damage to me. Wow. See, that's the way to draw lands right there. Off your explore creature. You cut a land with this deck because you you flooded too often. You do get to you do get some extra lands with these explore creatures. Do help you hit your land drops. Boros Agro is a standard. If if it has an H next to it, that means it's, it's historic. So the historic decks have H H's next to them. Yep, R is ranked. So yeah, all of our decks today were in ranked. We started the day at 98%. We're up to number 958 right now. I do decree. That's bad for me. No, Soren. How are we supposed to fly over... All these vampires, if we don't, if we can't Soren. It's probably not what Soren means. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if we find a Charming Prince, I'm flickering the Bugler, not the... Not the Choop. Mana Shaman! That can turn some crappy creature into a good creature. Yeah, if only we could discard land to Fauna Shaman. Man, that would be busted if you just discard any card and then put any creature you want into your hand.
I guess I should go grab Plague Mare. I don't know. Jade Light Ranger is... I guess Jade Light Ranger is just our best creature to draw, isn't it? <laughs> Literally draw anything but land. Come on. Anything else. Anything else. Anything in the deck is a great draw. Except for land. <laughs> I mean, we're still going to be winning this. Most likely. I'll still be very surprised if we don't win this, but... Yeah, Blind will actually draw a creature. <laughs> I kind of hope you lose because I want this to go to game three because this is great. <laughs> yeah, maybe we will. It's, it's all about... Okay, well... Now I'm not nearly as confident as I was just a little bit ago. With no Fauna Shaman. Why aren't you attacking with Healer's Hawk? Yay, we win. The thing is, this is going to be like four awesome cards. Okay, never mind. And then like we're going to put them all down to the bottom. Bugle Boys. Brum, brum, brum. And we had to find a Jade Light or Plague Mare at some point, right? Why don't they have like the cool bugle noise like the explore creatures do? It doesn't matter. This has to come back at end step anyway. Yeah, I don't have the green mana. It's, it's all good. I did like tapping my green mana, that's for sure. Hmm. So not a single Jade Light and no Plague Mare in all of those cards. We gotta be coming up on a Jade Light here soon. We gotta be. We, we know we put one down to the bottom earlier. There. There she is, the old Merfolk Scout. There's my Militia Bugler noise. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're playing Legion's End. That card's good. They still make a vampire? Well, I guess they can do both now. They can make a vampire and a human. I mean, they're already at infinite life. I don't think I really have to murderous rider the soul ward, and I think I need to more worry about if they draw a Sarah Ascendant and just have a 7 7 lifelink flyer. I need to have the swift end for that. That's what I'm holding this on to for. That's what I'm holding this on to for. Uh, I don't think that's correct. Attack! Not even blocking the branch walker? 
All right, we got him all the way down to 36. Bunch of crooked numbers in these life totals. <laughs> Charge. Yeah, they're blocking with their life total. That's true. Alright, back up to 39. Attack! I'll just flicker Bugler again. Remember, Bugler doesn't come back until end step, though. Could do Jade Light. Hmm. We're at 30. Maybe I'll just do, do Jade Light because... We should be able to set up a good draw next turn with all of like the cards that aren't very good that we put down to the bottom. Alright, I'll just do Jade Light. None of none of our stuff dies. We haven't seen the one random plague mare yet. Um, let's see. We've done one, two, three, four, five. We've done five buglers, so we know the bottom fifteen cards of the library. And so it's not part of the bottom 15, so it's in the next 13 cards. So in the next 13 cards somewhere is this Plague Mare. <laughs> yeah, our, our green life gain deck. We're out life gaining the life gain deck. Did I see the one Plague Mare? Maybe I did. Maybe I did whenever I took the Murderous Rider. Maybe it was Murderous Rider, Plague Mare, Jade Light. Actually, maybe I did. Okay. Quick match there. We are 1 and 0 oh, after that quick 2 0. Oh. Scry. Why did I, I just said scry? <laughs> nice stretch. Oh, magic on the brain. Maybe, I don't know if any of y'all have done that in your workplace. Stretch and you say, oh, that's a nice scry. <clears throat> and they're like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I like all of our cards. I think it's probably Bugler or Soren. I think I need the Charming Prince to scry too. Jade Light hits more land drops. Soren brings stuff back. Probably to put the Bugler back. Okay. Could just have Charming Prince gain three now if we feel like we don't need the Scry 2. Hmm. 
Charm Francis. All right, so Chapel. Okay, so plan is so Chapel is just is just perfect. Like that's a perfect land. So plan is just is to swift end this next turn with the murderous rider. And then play the Murderous Rider. Or or I could Soren just gain three also. And then hopefully find another green source. Hmm. Because then I, I want to be able to just play green source, drop wild growth plus jade light together. Shockland. I guess. I don't know. This could be bad. Sweet. Uh oh. That's a big uh oh. Put the branch walker over here because I I kind of just wanted to land, but charming prince will do. We'll flicker a jade light and play rider. Frenzy's pretty good. That's not bad. I mean, how do I get rid of... I gotta... Uh, I still gotta beat this Frenzy somehow. And just killing... Just spending my turn killing a Chain Whirler. I don't know if that's good enough. Um, I don't really know what I want. Base, base. <laughs> I don't really know what I want. I guess kind of just land and try to get to like Citadel and stuff. Really try to get more of these things. I think I want land right now. Soren, Soren would be good. Soren brings back Jade Light and gives my Wild Growth Walker lifelink. They now have the Firebrand, though. Of course, they could get gets to block it. So Soren would be another good draw.
It's not a good draw. My opponent's last turn was amazing. My turn, terrible. That's game. Uh, Frenzy's still undefeated. Dreadhorde out of here. Knight of Autumn in here. Choop. Legion's End. Temple Garden's my worst lands. Does this give me the late game power that I need? Should I still play the Citadel? So the main question is if I should still play the Citadel or not. No, I don't, Hillbilly. Plague Mayor can get a, a couple of things. It's basically Viachino Pyromancer and Fanatical Firebrand. So on the play, we could get a Steamkin. I'm not sure if that's better than anything else we have in the deck right now, though. Like, I'm not really seeing anything here that, that that's better than. You think I should play a Citadel over a Soren? Maybe, yeah, maybe a murderous, maybe a murderous rider for a, a Plague Mirror or a Citadel. You know, we got to be able to kill Torbran, and killing Chain Whirler is really nice too. But yeah, I could see that. I mean, I, I have Knight of Autumns to remove enchantments. Take a look at their hand. <laughs> they definitely have wild growth walker killers. Hmm. Need to get them to tap out. I'm not gonna tap out. Tapped out. But unfortunately, it tapped out for Torbrand. 
Torbrand's still gonna let the... Still gonna let the Lightning Strike kill the Wild Growth Walker. turn this is nine nine damage coming in Bugler. Guess we have to get these things out of here. Um, you just have to wait just domo it, it it takes YouTube time to process the video in and to get to uh, higher resolutions it usually takes 45 minutes to an hour to get to the higher resolutions it'll it'll be 108 it'll be 1080 soon if it's not already it'll, it'll be 1080 soon Eaglers have been really good. Just giving me a body and another and another card. All right, so can we win game three on the draw? Yeah, we can. I agree, Wrinkler. We can. Do do. That game looked bad for us for a little bit. Plague Mare is good against the one ones that that Tybalt makes also. So maybe we take out a Rider for a Plague Mare. Of course, I do have to kill Torbrand. So that gives me seven cards that kills Torbrand. Ooh, maybe I don't do that. Kind of want an eighth card that kills Torbrand. Nah, I'll just do this.
I'm going to be going for it. I'm just going turn two wild growth. And going from there. It's very unlikely that they have... It's, it's very likely that they have something to kill the wild growth walker. Because all they need is a shock because of the firebrand. Yeah, I mean, I think I think a lot of this comes down to frenzy, as we saw that last that other game. I think, I think a lot of this for for them comes down to frenzy. Castle Lumbreth is awesome. Let's their Viachina Pyromancers trade up. <clears throat> That's a pretty good pretty good land for this red deck to have access to. So of course the Firebrands kill the Jade Light Rangers. I'm pretty surprised by this attack. I'm pretty surprised they're willing to trade both Firebrands for a Charming Prince. When Firebrand kills Jade Light. Yeah, I'm very surprised by that trade, but I'm I'm happy with it. Hmm. Just, just hoping. <clears throat> Firebrand's so good. I'm gonna just get this thing out of here. What? Oops. Oops. Just hoping they don't draw frenzy. You know, like that's the that's the main thing that I'm hoping for right now. Obviously, I don't want to see Torbrand either. I don't want to see any of their four drops, but especially Frenzy. Well, that helps, though. It's a good time to draw Plague Mare. We put that Plague Mare in our deck. Here we go. Here it is. Here's the horse. Next turn. Here it is. Here's the horse. Next turn. I said next turn. I meant next turn. <laughs> we have to let them get their other 1-1 one -one out here. But I have to block all these. I need that horse last turn. Um, I think 
like my best draw is Soren. Soren's my best draw. We haven't seen a Soren yet, even with all those buglers. Did we? Did we see Soren? Maybe we saw Soren's. I wasn't really paying that close attention. This card's not bad though. It's not bad. I don't know. Why not Charming Prince? I mean, all it's going to do with Charming Prince is what? Scry, Scry 2? Oh, I guess you would want me to just Flicker Bugler. Oh, yeah. I guess I forgot about... I don't know. I, <laughs> I just didn't really think about Flicker Bugler for some reason. I was thinking that I was just going to be Scrying 2 because, you know, I wasn't going to be gaining 3 life with the Tybalt. Yeah, I guess I could have flickered Bugler. Hmm. If we would have flickered Bugler, we would have got the Murderous Rider and put all these lands down to the bottom. So yeah, turns out Charming Prince grab <clears throat> Charming Prince would have been the the play. We would have been able to put those lands down at the bottom, would have got grabbed the murderous rider. Rider would have killed that Torbran. Yeah, that that would, that was the play. Charming Prince. That cost me that. Yeah, maybe I mean maybe we would have stabilized if I would have grabbed the Charming Prince. <laughs> but yeah, that was a, a lot of lands. I sideboarded out a land, so that's cool. All right, Storm, have a good one. Yeah, Bugler was a cool card. It never really got to. It didn't really get to see too much play in standard, but I think Bugler was really missing. Like a murderous rider. But yeah, in standard, yeah, you have edge wall innkeeper, giant killer, all that kind of stuff. You get to grab with it. I have not faced mono blue yet with this deck. I don't like how this game has been going for us so far. <clears throat> Brazen Borrower is pretty quality. All that to resolve a, bu a bugler.
quench? No quench. I hope they have a bunch of negates. I guess I'm supposed to kill the Siren Storm Tamer, aren't I? Yeah, I'm supposed to kill the Siren Storm Tamer, aren't I? Well, that was... That was not great. Get that lifelink. Uh, yeah, I guess Hush yeah, Hushbringer, that's true. Would be better here than Scotley Honor Guard. Blocking these little flyers. I wish I would have killed the Siren Storm Tamer. If I lose this, it's because of that. <sighs> hmm. They got they have to have Brazen Borrower. Yeah, or Trickster. As a borrower or a trickster. Or they could have just have good old fashioned unsummon. But that hurts that they had dive down for the Chupacabra that we didn't make them use more mana than just one. That you know, of course they had the Storm Tamer that we knew about that. But they didn't have to use more than just one mana. I can't really imagine that they're just going to be dead. They just left themselves dead on board. That they have some kind of trick. Eh, maybe not. I guess they couldn't really. They had to kill the Soren anyway, so they couldn't really do anything differently. Okay, um, some Legion's ends. Get a bunch of duresses in here.
So Night of Autumn destroys Curious Obsession, which makes that a pretty valuable card to play. Twenty-six creatures still. I don't know. Soren does seem really good. All right. Like that we got game one, you know, before our duresses and everything. <sighs> well, we lose if... But, of course, I, I do want to have one Knight of Autumn in here to grab with this. We lose if they just have... Like, you know, this hand's perfectly reasonable. Like, you know, having Fauna Shaman on two, Bugler on three. You know, like, that's, like, really what our deck does. But if they have, if they have like, their great hand, we're going to lose... I think I'm going to mulligan my hand, though. Darn. They had their great hand of one drop Curious Obsession. We tried. Angel's Den was a good draw. It's a thing. I think we have to just hope they don't have Curious Obsession. The games they don't. A lot better for us. So maybe we can have the double duress this turn and try to have Chupacabra resolve next turn with it. Stormtamer, though. I guess I probably should have just played Fauna Shaman. Eh, I didn't really want those lands. Because of Storm Tamer, where Fauna Shaman can go grab... Yeah, you know, we ditch Bugler, get Knight of Autumn, Knight of Autumn, kill Curious Obsession. Yeah, I should have. I should have done that. Alright, yeah, let's take out a Choop and a Soren each and get these other Knight of Autumns in here. Just take out four take out a couple four drops. Uh 
<clears throat> Alright, game three. We're back on the play. It's a big game here. Not... Not great. Maybe I need to mulligan more. It has really high upside. With this Plague Mare, just play a couple more one one mana one ones. Just play like Siren Storm Tamer to protect. Darn. Well, they can't adapt Terramander anymore. So that's good. That's pretty big. Let's have just a bunch of creatures over there. Which probably means I can't really handle them. But still, that's, that's an important first step. So we need to draw those troops. That I just sideboarded out. Tempest Gems. Get another lifelink creature. Get, get a lifelink creature in play. Maybe the better play is just to play double murderous rider there. They had all four Tempest Gens? Ugh. And of course I, I took out a Chupacabra for a Night of Autumn and now I don't have Chupacabra. And taking out a Soren. A Soren will at least give my creatures a lifelink. But yeah, we're we're dead. Tempest Gen is really, really good. Thank you so much for the resub, Heaton. Five months now. Welcome back to the channel. Dang. Mono blue, pretty good. They got some good upgrades. And Throne of Eldraine, mostly Brazen Borrower. But Mystical Disputes, a pretty big one too. Not necessarily for that matchup.
Thanks, Magic. Thank you very much. Probably Esper Control. Which unfortunately, now I wish I would have had Soren instead of Chupacabra. No, we, we don't want to play Mortify instead of Knight. No. The point of playing creatures is because we is we can find him off Militia Bugler. So we don't want Mortify over Knight of Autumn. to be able to grab our spells with. Let's slow this down. Let's try this. How do we have so many chupacabras? There's three in the deck. I just threw one in the graveyard. We already had one in our hand. Why do we have to draw the third? I'll protect you. What a waste. Oh, what a waste. This might be a bad idea. Keep up. I can no longer stand by and watch. You know you have too many cars when you just Kaya's Wrath at Chupacabra. This game's not over though. Command the Dreadhorde could win us this game. No, I am not making this up as I go. So five, eight, eleven. isn't a fight you can win. Hmm. Bueller is good. Yeah, I'll just do top. Let's skip to the good part. I've got time. I have Teferi because it command the Dreadhorde. No time for a break. Took my opponent's Teferi. I was guessing another Kaya's Wrath there. Darn. I think we can just have these two creatures out here until my opponent does something to stop them.
Soren. Hmm. Second Soren down at the bottom. So three. Three Sorens, which are my best draw, are at the bottom of the, the deck now. Just attack for two, gain two life. We're trying to come back. Yeah, there's four Sorens in the deck. These lands are killing me. Third Kai's Wrath. Soren. No. Uh. My last Soren. Ah, oh, it was gonna be so good. No, don't draw chemisters in sight. This is over now with Escanta. I have to find Soren, Command the Dread Horde, or Bola Citadel, but they're all all of those cards are down at the bottom of the library. We've seen all of those cards go down to the bottom. Yep, it took took my opponent, us mulling to four and them having all four Kaiserats. <laughs> you show remorse. I'll show the straight. Took quite a bit. And us having all these chupa chupacabras early in the game. So I think I want to have a couple Knight of Autumns because of Search for Escanta and how good of a card Search for Escanta is. Maybe I can't, but I want to. Can I cut two lands? Go to 23? 
Probably not. That's why we mulliganed, because we had just all one landers. So I have one Wild Growth Walker to, to gain some life, but Wild Growth Walker on its own isn't a good card in this matchup because it's very easy to, you know, it just, it gets answered one for one. It doesn't generate any value on its own. But we may need, like, the life gain because of Command the Dread Horde and Bola Citadel. So I have one. Maybe I should be playing two. But it's not something that I want to keep four of in. But I'm also a little scared to take them all completely out. Probably shouldn't be doing this with the Goblet Shrine, but we're just going to be shocking the next turn anyway. Keeping all the blue white lands. Relying on Ascanta. They definitely have Absorb for how they shocked in for how they shocked in a little bit ago. But I don't I don't need to play into Absorb. They have to play stuff and now I can play things. Hmm. Beagler does replace itself. They kept that card very quickly. Never mind, I guess Beagler doesn't always replace itself. So definitely could see Blackland Kaya's Wrath. I hope not. But now we don't... I mean, we don't have Lethal still through Othakaya, I guess. But I like having a little bit more pressure so Othakaya doesn't just really slow me down. I was thinking that I was going to be able to play the Bugler and put a new card into my hand still. No, no, Kozer, I don't really have any videos for good starter decks. Sorry about that. Oh, I have Elder Spell in my deck. I guess this is what El this is the matchup for Elder Spell. This is the matchup for Elder Spell. Oh well. Play that land. Play this one. There we go. So I kept, of course, because we had the Charming Prince Scry 2 to hit more lands. I don't know about you, but I'm about to Scry 2. is a good card. Have you all seen that one before? Pretty good. 
There you go. That's a that's a good jade light. <clears throat> Just being a divination. Cause yeah, I was gonna die. That was the only thing that I did not want to see here. For my excellent timing. Man. Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure, Kaya's Wrath, Teferi. That is brutal, especially the whole Teferi part of my statement. No more games. It didn't have, as long as I didn't have Teferi, we were going to be okay, but Teferi is going to be tough to beat. Hold that thought. Well, if, if they don't have another Kaya's Wrath, we can at least pressure Teferi. It's also just good getting that thing out of here. With us having, you know, Command the Dreadhorde, Bola Citadel, we don't want to just be taking two each one of these attacks. And, of course, with them playing Little Teferi, that could just be an extra card for them at any point for Little Teferi to rebounce it. Darn, they did find another Kai's Wrath. Hmm. Please don't find another Kaya's Wrath. Oh, even worse. We finally found a murderous rider. Took a while, but we finally did. Oh, the fairy's gone. At least for now. And we just keep on drawing lands. The only reason why we have a lot of cards is because the buglers just keep, you know, like one bugler turned into, you know, like four things. But we just keep on drawing lands. I guess I could have I guess I could have gone down to 23 land. Yeah, into the God Eternals milled milled one land and three spells and just set this up. Dang. We have not had the luck today with this deck. Still really like the deck, but we have not had good variants. Like this, like the reason, like we lost this match because we mulled the four. And then we had this happen. I think that was like five lands in a row. Like my last five draw steps were all lands. <clears throat> uh, 
basically, yeah, not playing Land War Elf because I didn't really have have room for it, and it's not, um, you know, it's not like a, a super impactful card. It's obviously very good on turn one, but you kind of have to adjust your mana for it and everything, and. Um, I just didn't didn't want to adjust my deck to to really have it instead of more impactful spells. Yep, last game here. Not sure what our opponent's doing. It does make Explore kind of difficult to choose whether or not to keep cards on top. But obviously, like, you know, we just, we had no Soren, you know, like that last game, you know, we have our four Sorens and our three six drops, and we drew none of those cards. I will have for House Against my opponent. I mean, we drew a couple, but they got Thought Erasured. Just a really good quality curve. Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure, Kaya's Wrath, Teferi. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Maybe a Risen Reef deck? This looks like this could be Bant. Bring in the Plague Mare because I think they're probably going to have a lot of mana creatures. No, they didn't play any. Naya. Dinos. Naya Dinos. Okay, well. That, that was not my guess. Plague Mirror not looking good. <laughs> not good against dinosaurs. Not looking good. Yeah, they're, yeah, Raptor Hatchling, that's like the only X1 Dino. They're not really X1 Dinos. Chupacabra is very good. So Plague Mare, not good. Chupacabra, very good.
Thanks, Chris. Thanks for the bits. Getting Chupacabra in the graveyard is pretty nice because we can just turn Sorens into Chupacabras. I guess I have to block these things eventually. I guess. Yeah, go get your Carnage Tyrant land out. Go smush me with the Carnage Tyrant. I don't have the mana for that. My heart is hollow scorn for you. I demand servitude. No, no, they're not going to have every card in history magic for historic now. Um, I think that eventually they'll want to have Pioneer on Arena. That's a long-term thing, though. So four. Okay. Yeah, they can just see that I have Command the Dread Horde. All right, so we ended in the numbers... Wasn't the most successful rank up day, but wasn't bad. Um, overall record, positive. Went from 98% to the numbers. I was, I was disappointed with this deck. I, I think this deck is really strong. I think it's just a couple of cards off still. Um, I think, like, I guess I... Because I guess I didn't really want to bring in Elder Spell against Esper. So if we're not bringing Elder Spell against Esper, we need to replace Elder Spell with something else. I need some other you know, card advantage engine. But I don't know, we have, like, all these Midnight Reapers and then, you know, like, the Sorens and these, but the cards really lined up well for my opponent in both of those losses that I had to Esper. I feel like we would be pretty good against Esper overall, like, if we keep, like, if we play that matchup more. I feel like we would be good overall if we keep playing that matchup more, but... Maybe instead of the... The Elder Spell playing a Vivian. That gives me a lot of card advantage. Let, you know, Helping me keep getting my creatures. Vivian is, of course, awesome with Murderous Rider. Also, like that Vivian's another new card that makes Murderous Rider better. So Vivian can also destroy an Ascanta if need be. Let's get a Vivian in the deck. Maybe even two Vivians and take out this third command. Honestly, because... Having a whole bunch of Command the Dread Hordes in your hand is kind of rough. Let's do that. Let's play like two Vivians there. Because, you know, you only have so much life, especially if I'm boarding out Wild Growth Walker. We don't have all of the life in the world, and we have to be worried about Othakaya. Okay, so there we go. So there's Abzan Bugler. Um, it's uh, the Mono Blue matchup. I don't know. I don't know exactly what to do about the mono blue matchup. We'll have to, I'll have to think about that one later. But we'll bring those Vivians in here though to help out against Esper. I think that's that's a card I was missing there. <clears throat> okay, uh, so those of you all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of Abzan Bugler. Um, myself, this is definitely one of my favorite historic decks, and I think it you know keeps needs a little bit more work, but it's very close to being. Um, a real big powerhouse here. All right, uh, but that's it. That's it here for Abzan Bugler. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.